Welcome once again. In this session, we are reading Hebrews chapter 6, verses 9, right through to the end of the chapter, verse 20. The immutable God. So in context here, we just came from a serious passage talking about someone who has fallen away from the faith and they have fallen to the point where they cannot return. But beloved, we are persuaded of better things for you and things that accompany salvation, even though we speak like this. For God is not unrighteous as to forget your work and the labor of love which you showed toward his name, in that you served the saints and still do serve them. We desire that each one of you may show the same diligence to the fullness of hope even to the end, that you won't be sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and perseverance inherited the promises. So basically saying that God will repay you for the work and the labor that you do for his people. For when God made a promise to Abraham, since he could swear by no one greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely blessing I will bless you, and multiplying I will multiply you. And that is found in Genesis chapter 22, verse 17. Thus, having patiently endured, he obtained the promise. For men indeed swear by a greater one, and in every dispute of theirs the oath is final for confirmation. In this way, God, being determined to show more abundantly to the heirs of the promise the immutability of his counsel, that means unchangeable, he is unchangeable, the immutability of his counsel interposed with an oath. So there's two things here, God's counsel and God's oath that by two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we may have a strong encouragement who have fled for refuge to take hold of the hope set before us. This hope we have as an anchor of the soul, a hope both sure and steadfast and entering into that which is within the veil, alluding to the veil of the temple, talking about the most holy place. We can enter the most holy place of God. As a forerunner, Jesus entered for us, having become a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. So this reading is just setting up for the next chapter, so don't miss it. Until next time, seek God. Get into the scriptures. Pray. Meditate upon the things of God. And if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.